Create a new fantasy team each week with Spitch and track the progress of your players in real time with live up to stats. Enter free to play or paid entry tournaments and win real money. Download Spitch today for free. Register and play via the link in the description. The watchlist is back to identify players who've caught the eye based on recent performances and upcoming fixtures. The team is in good shape for Blank Game Week 30, with 10 players available as it stands, even after a suspected hamstring injury for Luca Dina. But here are three options under consideration to complete the 11. Ivan Tony scored both of Brentford's goals in a 2 0 win over Burnley on Saturday, extending his recent hot streak. Only Mo Salah can better his 1.24 expected goals figure during the game week so far. The forward is into double digits for the season now, with 11 goals, and 7 of those have come during his last 4 starts. Since game week 22, Tony has averaged 2.6 shots in the box per 90 minutes, only trailing Fabio Silva, Ronaldo and Lacazette amongst forwards. Only Harry Kane has been afforded more than his 6 big chances in that time, though 3 of those have come from the penalty spot. Brentford have won back-to-back -back matches, following Christian Eriksen's introduction to the starting lineup. They face a Leicester side that have conceded an average of 1.95 expected goals per game during this calendar year, with only Norwich faring worse. It's slim pickings for a defensive transfer in game 30, with Tierney, Saiz and Doherty already in the squad. James Justin returned from his latest setback to feature against Arsenal, and could be a key player for Leicester in their end of season run. The fullback was a breakout star in the 2020-21 campaign, before suffering a season-ending injury last February. By game week 23 of that season, he'd amassed two goals, two assists and a tally of 101 FPL points, which ranked fourth best amongst defenders at that time. Meanwhile, no defender could better his 1.75 expected goals figure. Tallies of 10 shots and 20 attempted assists stand him apart from the more budget-friendly Daniel Amati and Luke Thomas who could find their starting places under threat as players return from injury. Leicester feature at home to Brentford in game week 30, and have three matches yet to be rescheduled. There has been some improvement from the Foxes defensively over the last four game weeks, where they've conceded just four goals and kept two clean sheets, with only Chelsea, Liverpool and Aston Villa earning more. Despite having only just sold him to fund a move for Harry Kane, there could be a swift return for Hyung min Son should Mo Salah's injury turn out to be more serious than expected. The Egyptian was taken off as a precaution after struggling to run off a foot injury against Brighton. Son meanwhile was denied an assist by the offside flag against Man United after Ben Davis found the net from his through ball. The South Korean took a team leading tally of two shots in open play, only trailing Ronaldo six during the match. Question marks still remain as to whether he's worth the extra 4.7 million over Dayan Kulisevsky, since the Swedes' first start in game with 25, he's earned 38 FPL points compared to Son's 32, and only Harry Kane has more with 47. Kulisevsky has produced a team leading 2.03 expected assist figure in that time, with Son close behind on 1.88. The pair have each taken 12 shots, but it's Son whose efforts have possessed the most quality, with a 2.06 expected goals figure compared to Kulisevsky's 1.12. So if it was a short-term punt with Salah coming back in soon after, the South Korean's superior goal threat could be worth chasing. 